because this second hand buy uh, be honored 90% doesn't work. <laughs> so it doesn't work. Doesn't work. I think not work. So I had found the cheapest motorbike that you could buy in Vietnam and it was definitely from a trustworthy mechanic. This trip was going to go very well. All right, well, we made it about one hour of riding before we got a flat tire. Looks like we ran out of gas here. All right, day two of the motorbike. We're getting it repaired. This bike is giving me so many issues. The chain fell off. So what happened in the purchasing process? What happened with my research? What happened that I ended up getting such a headache and disaster class of a bike? We're gonna pick up the bike tomorrow morning. Everything's gonna be good, fixed up on the bike, and we're ready to go. We're ready to actually start this motorbike trip. I can't be more excited. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Well, it all starts with the location. I was in Ho Chi Minh City. Now, Ho Chi Minh City is a great place as a backpacker to go if you're not looking to motorbike. And the only reason why I say that is because the Ha Zhong Loop is in the north, and so is Hanoi, the place where you're supposed to purchase a motorbike. The reason why that's so important is because there are many, many more tourists that are trying to purchase bikes up in the north, in Hanoi. Just because of that loop, the Ha Zhong Loop, down in Ho Chi Minh City, the supply of motorbikes is much, much smaller. I knew that there was going to be some sort of bike that I could purchase in Ho Chi Minh City, and it didn't take me long to find a place. We finally found well, I think it's gonna be the guy that we're gonna buy the motorbike from. I'll introduce you to my friend. Okay, what is your name? Uh, my name is Pao. Pao? Pao? Yeah, nice to meet you. Him. Now, I have to give Pao credit. Pao was a good guy. He was a businessman. He sells motorbikes for a living. You can't blame him. But there was some things that Pao did that made it seem a little bit more, well, sketchy. The black Brexit, new. Why brakes, so important? The brakes, light, the lights work? Uh, a lot more that they asked me why it doesn't work because uh, this was a small thing. But in Vietnam, we don't mind so much about this one. The speedometer doesn't work. Doesn't the... work. Oh, doesn't work. Okay. But work is not real. Okay. Only new one work. So how do you see how much gas you have left? Uh, about seven liter. Seven, seven liters? liters, you can go about 100 until 150 kilometers. Okay. Yes. So you just have to guess how much gas you have left in the tank. And you can see inside. Okay, this is a full tank. Okay, this full tank, you can go 100 until 120 kilometers for one tank. About, one tank? yeah, about five or seven dollars. Okay. Seven liters. Yeah, seven liters. You can go about uh, 300, uh, 200 kilometers. Okay. Yeah. So, their pal was walking me through step by step how to fully check and make sure that this motorbike was fully functioning it was working it was a good deal he was giving me the inside scoop and so he went through each different part telling me about what might work what might break how to fix it and let me just tell you he pretty much nailed every single thing and by nailed every single thing i mean he nailed it that all of these parts would break so this trend and rock are very important you need to turn new when you turn new you see this one very thick very thick the chain fell off you see the whole chain is popped off I, i've already tried putting it on once and then it just broke and popped off again so we got to take apart this and see what's going on inside there after that you check about suspension Suspension because very important because you carry hip suspension not good when you ride you feel in about the balance. Now the suspension's broke. We got no suspension, so we're gonna have to see if we can get it repaired. I'm I'm worried about how much it's gonna cost. I feel like it's gonna be quite expensive to get it all done. Uh, clutch. When you check clutch, you need to feeling. Feeling is that the way they feel. That the way they check already. Okay. And uh, sometimes they lose. Well, it's a little bit less fun now. My clutch just completely fell off. All right, today is a good day. We've got the cash and we're gonna go pick up the motorbike. I could hardly sleep last night. I'm so excited to get this bike. I'm gonna go pick it up from Pow right now. Well, this bike is uh, surely a piece of work. You know, I don't know who's to blame here. Maybe me for uh, spending so little and trusting Pow with it, but I've only got a week left of the trip and I'm just about to do the beautiful Haizhong loop. I'm feeling real deflated right now. It's, it's just been so many things wrong with this bike. Live and learn though, live and learn. Now, before we pile on Pow and make him seem like a bad guy, 
I did ride over 3,000 kilometers on this bike. And he did say that the bike with extreme riding would fall apart. He didn't lie to me on that. So going through all of the process of learning about the bike, seeing how he fixes it, realizing that he had the best intentions for me to ride this bike. Wow, it looks great. It looks really good. Yeah? Yeah, it looks awesome. Thank you. Yeah. I, I did so well with your bike. I felt like I could trust Pow enough to go ahead and purchase. But the next big question was, how much was this bike? How much is a typical uh, bike? Uh, this bike, uh, the, the gear, the, the gear ship, and yep. uh, we always use about clutch. Um, uh, we uh, we make uh, this one second-hand bike. Uh, we bought from local Vietnamese or some foreigner. They, they travel from Hanoi to here, and we make a front brake, back brake, and we check everything uh, reliable again. Pow. How much is this thing gonna cost me? But a new, a little bit of price about nine million dong until uh, fourteen million. Dong, the new one, the second hand about a hundred win about uh, seven million dong until ten million. Dong, the second hand. Three years ago, a cheaper, lower two million, dong, but now a price higher because everything the higher, higher mechanic, oil, and everything high. This one three years ago we sell six million. Dong. Okay. But now we sell seven or eight million dollars okay. for each bike. But we need to check everything. The good thing for the new type. Now, I had a lot of confidence going into this whole transaction process. I truly believed, after traveling for almost six months at this point, that my bargaining and my negotiation skills were on point. That I wouldn't have an issue negotiating or talking with the seller to try and find the best possible deal I could. And that's where I got a little bit too confident, I got a little bit too cocky. Because what Pow had up his sleeve, I wasn't ready for. How much do you think you could sell this one to me for? A million dollars. A million? Yes, I, I do a million dollars for this one. I get one million for robbers because I, I, I spent a lot of things to work. Okay. I can spend, I can earn two million dollars, but I don't want because I want this, the buy is very good to travel. Okay. And some people, they can spend more, earn more, but they do they do less. If I do more, I get less, okay. but I'm happy. So I will, I will test drive it, I will test it out, see how it is, and then I have to go to the ATM to get money yes and then i can come back and uh, if everything is good everything's good then, uh, we'll then we'll go ahead and get it yeah awesome nice to meet you Lovely thank you coffee. very much thank you very much now i'm not going to say that pow had me fooled i had decided that i wasn't going to spend more than 350 dollars now 350 dollars for a motorbike seems like an absolute steal of a deal but let's talk about the bikes the old Honda Win. The Honda Win is one of the most famous bikes you can be using to go across Vietnam. But there is one catch. When you hear the name Honda, you think of a nice, well-established Japanese brand with strong, reliable parts, you know, things working as they're set up to be. Well, this wasn't that. This was a Chinese knockoff. Now, I knew that ahead of time, and I waited to see if Pao would mention this. And full credit to him, he did. Honda win uh, um, from uh, Japan, but now we don't have uh, too much about Japan. We have only Chinese. Companies. How much was this bike that historically fell apart? There was a Chinese knockoff of a Honda that was supposed to get me over 3,000, almost 4,000 kilometers from the south of Vietnam to the north in one piece. Hopefully, how much would that cost? How cheap could I go and not completely risk my life? Like I said earlier, I would like to have prided myself in my negotiation tactics, but Pau had won me over, he'd won my heart. As you saw, he said seven to nine million Viet Dongs. I knew he wanted eight million. His sweet little smile won me over and I just caved and I said eight million is a deal. So after a few nights of deliberation and getting Pau to fix up a couple things on the bike that I think needed to be done, I got a fresh new tire, I got a new phone holder, I got some new rear lights. I told him I was ready to go ahead and make the deal. Pow! Oh. <laughs> I got the money! Oh my god, thank you so much. Yeah, you got money ready. We got the money ready for the bike. Let's thank do you it. very much. <laughs> and boy did I learn right away. Things can go wrong 
almost immediately. What happened next it was a lot more of a challenge than I thought it would be, but that's for next time. I'll see you guys then.